Hello everyone and welcome to Tatparya Books. Today we are going to be reviewing The Outlaw Ocean by Ian Urbina. The subtitle of the book is called Crime and Survival in the Last Untamed Frontier. The book Ian Urbina of course was a New York Times journalist and he actually had some investigative journalism and articles come out in that newspaper. Uh, under the title the outlaw ocean and that became pretty popular this book of covers a few of those essays that he did for new york times and a lot more now if you were anything like i was as a kid you would be immediately attracted to this book the title the outlaw ocean has a kind of ring to it doesn't it like an old pirate book you know the kind where a kid runs off to the ocean and comes back as a pirate captain if you were anything like me you wanted to be that kid now when you grow up reality has a way of numbing that feeling but you never quite lose that fascination for the sea some people have it for mountains i had it for the sea and driven primarily by that feeling i picked up this book so the very first story in this book got me even more excited it is the story of a chase where these vigilantes from an organization called the Sea Shepherd in their boat or in their ship called the Bob Barker are chasing down this illegal fishing ship called the Thunder somewhere in the cold waters of the Atlantic we follow this adventure very very closely through those latitudes of 50s the southern latitudes of 50s and the 60s where the seas are so choppy there's no land mass there and there are the storms are massive now without really giving anything away all i can tell you is that this adventure kept me turning pages so much so that by the end of it i was calling my friends and telling them you must get this book because in my head i was thinking sea and adventure and boy was i wrong the narrative gets grim and stays that way for almost the entire length of the book i quickly realized that the ocean was a place of lawlessness where where people who are living in the wrong side of it just have a very hard life and not just hard it's an unfair life there are stories of people who were sold into slavery at sea whose middlemen who give them those jobs just keep taking away all their salaries and even murder is not just unpunished but actually unreported and it's not just that life is hard at sea it's also very dirty the number of times in this book you hear about life at sea where people and sailors are living in rat and cockroach infested areas it's just mind numbing and even cruise ships something that you would expect would be somehow better are culprits in this book It's almost as if the vastness of ocean makes us think that we could just take and take with impunity. So don't get me wrong. The writing here is not bad. In fact, far from it. It's excellent what you should expect from a New York Times journalist, of course. But what I really liked is that Ian Urbina makes this as intimate look of the lives of those people who are at sea and an intimate look of a life of a journalist who's covering these people it is not an antiseptic uh, life and i like the fact that urbina keeps himself in the narrative there is there is actually an exciting episode where he is the sole negotiator in a hostage situation but you know there is no escaping the fact that the oceans are a place where everything is lost human dignity sea wealth laws and even life this book highlights these problems urgently not in that twitter brief way but actually going in depth putting names and faces to those unlimited unknown people who are living at sea and who need our help immediately it didn't make me lose my fascination for the ocean in fact i feel it kind of matured it 
knowing more about the thing I love made me love it even more. And because of that, I recommend that you read The Outlaw Ocean by Ian Urbina. And after you read it, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Thank you and keep watching Tatparya Books.